Coupling is a simple, easy way to create videos and presentations on the fly, online, not much of a hassle. So I'm just going to walk through how to do that. And yes, it is pronounced Capwing. I looked it up like five times because I want to say Capwing. But all right, let's get started. Start editing. You don't need an account, anything like that. And I'm going to start with a blank canvas. And there we are. Something I do want to point out right away for a presentation, obviously this is a square, which is fun. I use that for different projects. For a presentation, the normal aspect ratio is 16 by 9. We have a bunch of different options, but PowerPoint 16 by 9. Most televisions nowadays are 16 by 9. That is standard widescreen. Google Slides is 16 by 9. I'll start with their default output size, but I might change that later on. Now, so maybe I'm going to do a title page here, kind of standard stuff. I'm going to change the colors. And then let's add some text and um, shoop. and you can already see if you want a custom color or more control, you can do this. And I think I'll switch it to this light blue, maybe. And to go ahead and edit the text, I'm just going to click on it and say example demo. You have a ton of control over your text, of course. Zoop, zoop, right? Um, and maybe I want to add a shape here. You can see the amount of customization and how easy it is. So yeah, sure. Maybe I want to shout out. And then I'm going to send it back. Perfect. What a great title screen. All right. So this doesn't have any audio. This is just going to be my intro. I'm going to hit add scene. And again, this will export as a video. Now, say in my new scene, I could start adding an image or I can recreate a slide. I'll start by adding the images. So image and I'm going to hit upload here, go here and I have it set up right there. Slide example. And what I did here is I just, well, I took a screenshot of a slide I already have made. Maybe I want to stretch this out. Maybe I want to crop it. It's kind of up to you what you want to do with this and how. So maybe I want a bit of a border, put off. Now let's say I want a, uh, I want some audio over this. All I have to do is to click here and I can go ahead and record whatever information I have. So I'm going to go ahead and click. You can also upload, but I'll record it right here within the program and I click record. Hello there. This is an example. This is also Cambridge Library. What I'm showing you now, though, is the length of this. So keep in mind, I'm going to hit stop. OK, so what will happen now is this will play to the end of the slideshow. So that audio won't only play on this slide. It will keep going to the next. And that is because I've recorded six seconds of audio. Cambridge Library. What I'm showing you now. So if I hit done now. And I'm going to add a scene and I'm going to hit play. Cambridge Library. What I'm showing you now, though, is the length of this. So keep in mind. So notice three seconds right oh, there. Yeah, oh, it's going to loop. So three seconds, but my, I had more to say. So it just kept going. So keep that in mind when you are recording audio. Also keep in mind the audio will start wherever you have it. So I'm going to go back and edit. So mine's starting at two minute, at two seconds right now. If I want it to start at the beginning, this is for the whole presentation. So when you record audio, it is not for one particular slide. It is going for to be for your presentation. Audio will end with the video. So if I record 10 minutes and have a five second video, well, then the audio is going to end at five seconds. So I'll start my audio, I don't know, right here. So it starts after the title screen because I have the title screen up for three seconds. Now let's talk videos. So first off, if you have something on YouTube, let me click upload. Now I can do an image search. I can put a YouTube link right here and it will just instantly put the video into the presentation. So for example, let me just, I should have a link. I just pasted a link in there for YouTube and boom, this is a video I did. And this would go going, this would automatically play. Notice how long it lasts. It lasts the entire length of the video. However, we do have the options to adjust. So look at all the, it's like image options. I can change the brightness, all of that. And then I can also trim it. So if I don't want this full video, I just want this much of it. Then I don't have to listen to or don't need the entire section of the video. 
I can then throw a background color on this and boom. Okay. And keep in mind too, screen size right here, it is adjustable throughout this. So let's change it to this, maybe the normal size of a presentation or at least the normal widescreen for a presentation. And look at how it stretches automatically all of my content. So I would just want to adjust that if I do make changes. Now, audio, video, let's go ahead and make a slide on our own. So maybe I don't want to import, informa import information. Maybe I just want to do it from scratch on here. So I'll throw a square. Let me get rid of all this. So obviously that is huge. So all I'm going to do is, zoop, right? I can just grab and shrink it down to the size I need and pull it up. And so the what you write and the amount is kind of up to you since you can easily adjust the text. If I want, again, I can change up the color. I can change up all of this format. The options are pretty much limitless. And images as well. If you want to upload an image, I demonstrated that. You can also search for one. So video, I'll search for it. And it's just going to pull images from the web for you to use. Perfect. Way too big for me. Zoop. Zoop. And that. Easy. Boom. So now if we want to take a look at our timeline, it's going to show how this will be presented. We can always change the duration of each by the easiest way to do that is by going to the timeline and right here, 10 seconds, five seconds, custom, whatever I would like. So we'll say I am all done, ready to rock. I'm loving this. It is amazing. I'm going to actually shrink the time of this though. That looks better for the example, eight seconds. And now I can go ahead and click publish. Your content is being processed. And so I wouldn't leave this page. You can leave it. You can refresh, but I would just stick to it to make sure. This is some code stuff letting you know what's going on. Hmm. I would assume this is a Linux server that's doing this. And to dot. So if you do want to get rid of the watermark, you can have an account. You can sign in. I'm going to. And I hope you noticed the audio actually carried over that video. I wasn't conscious of where I placed that video, but you do need to be aware of the audio. And I watched it several times before you export it. If you have an account, they'll get rid of the watermark. You can download it right here. You can even copy and share a link directly. I'm going to click download. I can also add some edits. I'll also show you if I do sign in here, I have a, I use Google for this account. And now they're going to reprocess the video. This video though, right here is perfect for YouTube and all of that. It will upload very easily. And there we go. Oh, go. No watermark. I can download it easy peasy. And I have an, I have an awesome presentation video. Ta-da!